First of all, I want to thank you all for coming. It's a privilege for just me and also Nathan here to uh, manage such a, 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 a historical club of England, uh, Sunderland and the Black Cats. Um, hmm, how did uh, how do we get this job? Well, obviously, uh, Paolo Di Canio are not doing too well in pre-season. You know, need something to happen, but yeah, hopefully we'll be coming in strong and give them something to work with. That is true. As you can see, we're taking on quite an oldish core here at Sunderland. And uh, yeah, we want to build a new regime with young English players. We felt we needed to do something in the core and bring the really English spirit out of Sunderland. Yes. But later on we might add a bit of spice in different countries and get a bit more flavour in there. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And the one thing that we're looking forward to is uh, our signings. Obviously, as some of you have seen in the papers who we've signed, one personal player I'm really looking forward to uh, shine at this club is uh, Ross Barkley, our new captain. I'm super looking forward to looking to work with this individual. He's such a unique player. He's just got that presence on the field that just reeks of pure talent. And um, I can, I can, I bet all you agree here that he is going to be a next big star for the England international uh, team as well. I'm just into I was thinking at the back, Luke Shaw at the left back, just mm. he's in control the whole game, and he just completely changing that defence position. Yeah, he has, he has really impressed Nate and me, Luke Shaw, in pre-season. Pre he, he just seems to be so consistent, and just only, I think he's 18, isn't he? Yeah, the age 18. of 18. The yeah, he's gonna go ahead. yeah, the only way is up for that guy. Um, also, I'm looking forward to, to, to Bradley more than anything. Or is it Brady? <laughs> it's Brady. That's the one. See, we're still new at this job. I'm, I'm terrible at names. I, I inherited that off my mum, but that's getting <laughs> off the point. So, the, the board here approached Nate and me with the jobs um, quite crazily because Nate and me have been on the market for a while. We had a, sp uh, a little spell. Um, abroad um, you guys wouldn't have heard the team so there's no real name to, to drop their name here but it was I think it was the match against Monaco that did it I think the 4-0 bashing of Monaco was um, was the final straw for Di Canio's uh, regime to end unfortunately I like Paolo Di Canio but yeah uh, the board offered us the job and we took it we took it on no definitely and uh, yeah Athletic Bilbao 3-1 what more what more can you ask for the regime we're trying to build here is something special and something that hopefully you guys will enjoy and hopefully other teams in the Premier League will watch out for. Uh, as, you, as you can see, most of the Premier League teams have huge budgets. We don't have a huge budget at this team, but we want to build a, a dynasty here. We want to build a team that will be consistent year in and year out, and we don't want to buy championships. That's right, I'm calling out Man City, I'm calling out Chelsea, I'm also calling out Man United, I'm calling out all the big clubs yes. to watch out for us this season. We because are we are hungry. <laughs> you know, maybe we not, might not get a Champions League spot, but we can go. We can try, what is it, top table we're trying to look for? Top, top 10? Top, top 10. Top, top 10. 10 we're looking for, which is pretty solid. 
And so what difficulty are we talking Difficulty, we're probably going to play on world class. That's yeah. the one one we found it seems to be quite good for both of us um, because it just seems to work for us on uh, any, any higher, it just seems to lose its, its edge, if you will. Champions League football. Yeah, it is pretty much. And with the young core we're going with, we want to just build on that more and more. But the fun thing about this uh, whole entire series that we're doing here, guys, is that it's going to be coming out once a month and we'll be doing a whole month of FIFA content. So it's not just going to be the odd few matches, it's the whole month. So we'll be covering a lot of games. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. I am as well. And what more, what more can we say? We are, we're looking forward to what we're building here and you guys should look out for us. Uh, on cool. YouTube, all the annotations are at the Facebook, bottom there. Facebook, anything. Yes, everything's on the screen as you can see. So take care, thank you for coming to this press conference, and we'll see you guys in November. <laughs> <laughs>